um, I have um, this mountain, um, this dirt bike, my bad. Um, this dirt bike right here, this is Lane's. Uh, I'm at his house right now. He's teaching me how to ride his dirt bike and uh, let's see how this goes. All right guys, so the dirt bike TJ is gonna be riding is a 2002 Honda XR100R. It's pretty old, it's a trail riding bike. Um, it has a few modifications on it because it used to do trail racing. So it has like a rental exhaust and a rental, rental carburetor. And then it, we put new forks on it and stuff like that. Um, the exhaust has gotten rubbed off a lot. You can see it's pretty old. We haven't changed that out yet. And then carburetor is new. Cleaned that out the other day. It has BP racing fuels that we use. And then other than that. All right, so TJ's gonna start now. I've kind of taught him a few tips beforehand. But so right now, what he's gonna do is he's gonna pull out the kickstart bar. And then what he's gonna do from there is, instead of just going the first, cause for a beginner, it's a lot harder for him to shift down and then go back up in the second. What he's gonna do is he's just gonna just go up in the second as soon as he starts. So he's gonna start it. He's gonna hold the clutch while he starts. And then as soon as he gets it started, he's gonna shift in. And then let's see if he can hopefully do it. All right, you guys. All right, up in the second. All right, there you go. All right, he's off. He's coming around. All right, I'm gonna tell him to go in the third. Third. Are you in third? All right, so that's his first spin. He did pretty good. He did okay. Um, I'm down in second now because when I was riding around, I was up in third and then I clicked down. I held the clutch, clicked down, and now I'm in second. So now in order to get it into neutral, I'm just gonna hold the clutch and then I just pushed it down. So now I'm in neutral. So the, the way you know is, if you're in neutral, you can roll the bike. So go in the first real fast. Show them what it's like with gear on. So you can't move when you're in the gear. But go in the first now. I'm in first. I mean, not <laughs> dumb. Uh, neutral. One click up. All right, yeah, there you go. And neutral is right in between first and second. So neutral is right here. It's like that half. Yes. Um, so yeah. That's, that's his first ride. He did pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tutorial now. So what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna kick that out you're gonna clutch in for a beginner. I recommend clutching in and then just boom, pop. If you have a if you have a good bike, it should start up on like the first like the first kick. Usually, if if it doesn't, it means your carburetor isn't that clean. It's not letting gas through quick enough. So you need to just. example of when you're riding and the bike is on and you're in gear you'll automatically move so I'll show you that real fast
So you're always gonna move whenever you are in gear. That's what he said if you couldn't hear him. So I went in the fourth and I did what's called fourth gear lugging. So when you're when you're your gears are spinning in this box, it's automatically spinning. So you'll automatically go to the speed of fourth gear without gas. And so what that means is you're, you're in the gearbox. When you go up more gears, the lugging gets faster and faster. So I could have went in the fifth. I could have went about 15, 15 to 16 miles per hour. And now what, what you can do there is if you're a beginner and you and you are like messing up pretty bad or something. If you accidentally shift up, let's say, and you go and you just let go, you'll probably panic. And what you'll do is you'll start lugging. And then what you do, you'll try to pull back and then you'll pull on the throttle and then you'll just start flying off the bike and then it'll just go and hit the ground. Oh yeah, and to stop, you must pull the clutch and then the brake. Yes, so right? what you'll do is, I'll show you a good drill. Like if you feel like you're gonna fall, you just go like this. Just go. Just say I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't. Watch your break. So I, my acting skills are great, I know. Um, so I was acting like I was panicking on the bike. I was pulling back, I, I gave it gas. What I did was I just pulled the clutch, it stopped the gears from moving, and I pulled the brake, so I automatically don't move. And how do and you I, stop the bike? How do you turn the bike off? Okay, so on some models it's different, but this is a trail bike, so it'll just have a simple little button to push it off. And then um, from there you just kind of sit and hope somebody doesn't run into you if you're racing. <laughs> so that's all for a basic tutorial of what you need to ride a dirt bike. All right, guys, so TJ is gonna try to get in the fourth gear real fast in the backyard. Um, let's see if he can, let's see if he can do it without dying. Well, what, are your, what are your last words, T? I um, hope I don't die. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> um, see how this goes. I said the last words, not sentences. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so you go. That was not the greatest shift ever, but. All right, now he's in second. Oh, one in the neutral. Now he's in second. Third gear. Yep, now he's in third. Now he's in fourth. Fourth gear. He's in fourth now. Fourth gear. He's doing what I call a lug. He's not really giving it gas, <laughs> but it's okay. He's a beginner. All right, guys, so I think that'll wrap it up for TJ's riding for now. He's, he's doing really good. up for your riding yeah that'll wrap it up for today i'm not gonna go into fifth gear today but uh yeah um you so here here's what i have to say about um riding so when you go up gear you have to get more rpm which means more speed so when he's riding in the backyard we can't really get too much speed to go in the fifth gear so you want to show them the atv trick real fast that i know oh yeah so right. uh, hold up let me get this into neutral i have a i have a little trick on the on the atv that I'm good at, or whatever you like to call it, four wheeler, ATV. I don't care. I just call it four wheeler or ATV. So this is my four wheeler. 
Yeah, I know it's kind of small, but who cares? Here's his. Okay, we're gonna take this out on the street. racing full wheeler. I was riding, I took a turn really quick. And I came up and I was like, no, I wonder if I can hold that. So what I did was, I did it again and I took a really quick turn. Okay, that works. <laughs> that works, Steve. Yeah. I took a really quick turn and I was like, I wonder if I can keep my balance. So I, I was like maneuvering it to where if you get too much weight on one side, you push down with this leg. If you get too much weight on this side, you lean with this and that's kind of how you do it. I'll, I'll show you one more time. Okay, so, um, is that gonna wrap it up for the video? Yep. All right. Okay, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. So, um, uh, you Anything want, to say? You want me to say my channel? Yes, he has you a can, channel also. You can go to my channel. It's 2024 Stokes Lane. Um, I do, I'm going to start doing like fishing and dirt bike videos on there. Um, I go out to vlogs? our ranch. Yeah, some vlogs. I go out to our ranch and we ride like dirt bikes and stuff out there. And then I fish on the river. So I'm, I'm going to start some of those bringing... videos. And um, yeah, I'll link his channel into the description. I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure out how to we'll, do that we'll figure it out but um i'll link his instagram say your instagram in the description also mm -hmm. so i'll have that in the description Beep. i'll have my instagram in there also Beep. so um peace we'll see you guys later <laughs>